With cooler temperatures moving in this week, you want to make sure your house is ready to warm up. Our Dryden Quigley has everything you need to know before turning on your heater. It's in great condition. This is a 10-year-old system. Brett Gephardt says this week the number of calls to Lee Company has skyrocketed. A lot of no heat, so that consists of the unit not working at all. Many are cranking on their heating units to find them broken. If the unit keeps running and running and running, the temperature does not rise in the house whatsoever. That's a good indication to our customers that, you know, it's not operating correctly. But before you give professionals a call, there are a few things you can check yourself. Now, it sounds obvious, but Lee Company says it's an easy mistake that people make. They forget to turn their thermostat from cooling onto heating. So if your heating isn't working, that's the first place you want to check. Because that's an easy service call for us to avoid. And for as a customer, you can save money and not have us come out for just a little simple issue. Next are the air filters. These need to be changed every 60 to 90 days. A clogged filter will restrict airflow to the system, which can overheat the system in the long terms and it could cause parts to go bad, blower motors can fail. Even if you are staying on top of it, Brett suggests that twice a year you have professionals come take a look, once for air conditioning and once for heating. We can provide services uh, to the unit, make it last longer, and just make sure you're safe from the service call. Because you don't want to find out that your heating doesn't work when temperatures drop even further. In Franklin, Dryden Quigley, WSMB4.